Okay, so I've changed things around a little bit. Um, before, a couple days ago, I had that really quick visual swap, but the problem with that is that the keyboards were still lagging by about five seconds. And I had the epiphany that why do the quick swap first and then have this slow thing second? Why, do I, why would I first do the quick thing and then second do the slow thing? Why don't I first do the slow thing and then when it's uh, about 70, 80% done, I can then trigger this quick thing and they'll kind of meet up at the end and it'll be, end up being um, literally actually a little bit faster, even though it looks a little slower, the look was fake and it wasn't actually um, as fast as it looked. So I'd rather have something that's true. Um, in order to do that, I had to basically reroute this keypad. Uh, it's no longer directly connected to the KVM. It's actually routed directly to this USB port that's plugged into the primary PC. And so the primary PC is looking for the key sequence that comes out of this, uh, added this line of code, uh, some code to um, the software to listen for this key sequence. And as soon as it sees that key sequence, it's gonna trigger this USB switch to um, swap the keyboards. And that's gonna get going as, as fast as possible. So this keyboard will leave the primary PC and then this keyboard will uh, can be, be connected to the primary PC. Then when this PC sees the secondary keyboard connected to it, then it's going to do a KVM, which is over this uh, USB port um, here. Uh, to the KVM, it will then, as a COM, COM port instruction serial, it'll instruct the KVM to swap those, and that part's nearly instantaneous. And by then, the keyboards will have ma matched up, the, the keyboards will have fully swapped, and then the screens can be insta-swapped, and everything kind of meets up at the end. Um, so, and then I added a little extra surprise, uh, since they're kind of transporting uh, visually and, and USB wise between these two PCs. Um, I had a, a neat, neat little Easter egg, uh, copyright infringement here on this one, but listen for it. And then I'm still gated by this, uh, hub here. It's that, until that amber light turns off, it won't accept any more USB commands. So, I still have that limitation where I can't just kind of swap back and forth whenever I want, but then it should swap back both ways. Yep. And so it's not too slow. And in the end, it's actually a, a hair bit faster than it was before because I was doing the fast thing first and then the slow thing second. But now I'm doing the slow thing first and while that is happening, then I do the fast thing. And so in the end, it only takes the time of the slowest thing, which is the keyboard swap. So it's actually a little bit faster in the end. Um, so that's the update on that swap. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.